Fasciotomy wound management. Compartment syndrome is an urgent medical condition in which increased pressure within a closed facial space compromises the circulation and reduces perfusion to tissues contained within the space. Compartment syndrome must be relieved within six hours to prevent tissue ischemia. Compartment syndrome lasting for eight hours or more may result in irreversible damage to muscles and nerves. Clinical presentation. The initial findings for compartment syndrome are pain out of proportion to primary injury or surgery, a swollen and tense compartment, and pain with passive stretch. The late findings for compartment syndrome are paresthesia, paresis, and pulselessness. Do not wait for late findings to establish a diagnosis. Pressure monitoring. Pressure monitoring can be used to establish or confirm diagnosis of compartment syndrome. The threshold for fasciotomy is recommended at an absolute intracompartmental pressure of 30 millimeters mercury or within 30 millimeters mercury of the diastolic blood pressure. Fasciotomy. Once the diagnosis of compartment syndrome is established, fasciotomy is indicated emergently. Decompression of all compartments with elevated pressure is mandatory. In performing fasciotomy of the lower leg, the classic two incision technique is commonly used. However, a single lateral incision has recently been introduced. Bedside fasciotomy is an acceptable treatment option if the patient cannot be operated on in the OR. Wound management first step. Fasciotomy results in a long open wound. Fasciotomy wounds should not be closed immediately after surgery to avoid the risk of causing recurrent compartment syndrome. Either wet to dry dressings or a wound vat should be applied on the fasciotomy wound directly following surgery. This first step is critical to preventing infection. Wet to dry dressings. Wet or moist gauze or cloth is dressed on the wound and replaced frequently. The wet to dry dressings remove wound drainage and dead tissue when removed. These dressings also reduce the chances of wound infection. Wound vac. Negative pressure wound therapy with a wound vac has been seen to reduce swelling, promote tissue granulation, and increase perfusion in addition to keeping the wound covered, which limits chances of wound infection. It offers faster wound closure, reduced scarring, and a lower complication rate. Wound management second step. The second step occurs 48 to 72 hours after surgery. This step involves taking a look inside the wound to observe the compartment and to determine whether or not the wound can be closed immediately or if more time is needed for muscle swelling to decrease. Wound closure techniques. There are four wound closure techniques following fasciotomy. 1. Delayed primary closure. 2. Split thickness skin grafting. 3. Tissue expansion by continuous traction. 4. A cell. Delayed primary closure. 
delayed primary closure is acceptable 48 hours after surgery as long as all muscle groups are confirmed viable and swelling is reduced enough to allow closure without tension on the skin edges. Split Thickness Skin Grafting This technique offers immediate wound coverage. However, it could require multiple operations and the scarring at the fasciotomy site and the donor site is a further disadvantage. Tissue Expansion by Continuous Traction Continuous traction techniques take a couple of days to close the fasciotomy wound. Sutures, wires, and elastic loops are used to slowly move the skin back into place. Tissue expanders are used to stretch the skin on both sides of the wound and finish closing the fasciotomy wound. A-cell A-cell is a treatment in which a powder obtained from pork loin urinary bladder stem cells are sprinkled on the fasciotomy wound. This powder creates a new layer of skin in the fasciotomy wound. This technique is especially helpful when a skin graft cannot be done due to poor tissue condition such as in children or elderly patients. This technique offers quick and aesthetically pleasing healing. The clinician and patient should be aware that no single technique fits for all patients. Everybody is different and every wound is different. Clinical judgment and experience should be used to select the best treatment option for closure of the fasciotomy wound. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.